Welcome to our readers to lesson, oh, should be 15, my bad. Monday was lesson 14, so today is lesson 15. Today we're going to look at the prefix miss. So our target today, read it with me. I can read any word beginning with the prefix miss. Can you think of any words that begin with miss? Ooh. I can misbehave. Most children are misbehaving. What does that mean? Well, miss means wrong or bad. So they were behaving in a bad way. They weren't doing the right thing. Sometimes friends misbehave in our classrooms, right? Let's take a look at this little short video on the prefix miss and how we can understand words. What do they mean when the prefix miss is added to a word? Let's take a look. Hey everybody, uh, Mr. Olshin here. Uh, before we begin this lesson on the prefix miss, uh, you know, I gotta tell you, it was, uh, it was raining cats and dogs this afternoon and I went outside and I stepped in a poodle. <laughs> Anyway, we are covering the prefix uh, miss, and the definition for the prefix miss is wrong or bad. A few examples using the prefix miss. Uh, the first word we have is mistrust, which is a lack of trust. Next word is misplace, which is to put in the wrong place. Next word, misfortune, is bad luck. And the last example is mistake, which is to be wrong about. Few sentence examples. The first one: bags that wind up in the ocean are deadly hazards for sea turtles and other fish who mistake them for jellyfish. And the next sentence: most eaters mistrust mealy tomatoes, even if they are flavorful. All right, take a moment and uh, review the exercise here. Feel free to pause the video at this point because we will review the answers in just a moment. All right, we are ready to review the answers to the exercises here. Number one, bad fortune. The word is misfortunate. Number two, the word misguided means guided badly. Number three, understood wrongly is misunderstood. And four, misbehavior is wrong behavior. Feel free to go back and review any portion of the video if you would like to review. So again, miss means wrong or bad. Let's look at our chart. Okay. You need to open up your notebook to a fresh page. Today's date is 5 6 20, the Wednesday 5 6 20. And your job right now is to read all of these words with the prefix miss. Say them with me misbehave, misprint, mismanage. Misfire, misfit, misgivings, mishandle, misjudge, misuse, mistrust, mistreat, mistake, misspell, misread, misplace, mismatch. Okay, what does each of these words mean? I want you to write the words and then you're going to define them. Like I said before, misbehave means to have bad behavior, right? We're not behaving the right way. Behaving badly, misbehaving. Once you define all of your words, you're then going to pick two words and write a sentence for each, okay? So you're just doing two. So you'll have two sentences total. So if I chose misbehave, I would write a complete sentence. The children in that classroom were misbehaving. Okay. So again, your to-do, what does each word mean? Define them in your notebook and then pick two to write a sentence for. After you've done that, we're going to finish reading the top 10 most disgusting facts about the human body. 
It starts with number five. There's number four, Dromeo River. Number three, Warm and Fuzzy. Number two, Sorry to Bug You. Number one, Hook, Line, and Stinker. Conclusion. Okay, so our human body is really an amazing thing, right? So as you're reading these last few pages of our text, what I want you to do is to finish adding to your word work chart. So go back to your word work chart, okay? All of the highlighted um, words in yellow are the ones that we added last time, okay? Some new vocabulary words, some words with suffixes. If completely infections, uncomfortable, careful, dehydration, and nastier. And then we had a tricky word, breathe. So if you don't have these same words in your word work chart, take a minute to write them down. Now, one word that you're gonna need to know today, take a look at this bottom word under vocabulary is microscope. What is a microscope? Well, it's a device that magnifies tiny objects. So when you need to see something up close, you put it under a microscope. Some things are super, super teeny tiny that you can't see with your own eye. So you need to put it under a microscope. Okay, so you're gonna to need to know what that is as you're reading today. Okay, so you're going to finish adding to your word work chart as you read the last few pages of our text. And then I want you to have a discussion. Take a few minutes to write these questions in your notebook and have a discussion with the person at your, at your house. So whether it be a sibling or a parent or grandparent or your babysitter, I want you to tell them how are some human body traits that we've learned about so far, right? There's 10 of them. How are some of the body traits similar to or different from the others? So all of those body traits that they talked about so you might need to go back and look at um, your charts or go back and look at the text, okay? You can use evidence from the text or pictures to help you compare the, the two different body traits, okay? So I wanted to take a look at, for my example, Drool Me a River was number four. So it talked about um, drool, how it's normal, right? And how it protects um, your body from infection. And number five was a chew. So that one was talking about the mucus in your body and how when you're stuffy, how useful mucus is because it catches things. It's that dust, pollen, dirt, whatever's in the air, germs, right? Germs, we're talking about germs a lot lately. So mucus is important. It catches those germs um, or dust or dirt. So it doesn't go into your body and make you sick, right? So I thought, Drooling and mucus, I think that they are similar to each other because they're both protecting our bodies. So here's my complete sentence. Drool and mucus are similar to each other, are similar traits. I should have wrote traits in there. Traits to, are similar to each other in that they both protect your body, okay? And the text said that, so I use the text. X said, drool breaks down food and protects you from infections and mucus catches stuff before it goes into your body. Oh, Miss Falco made a mistake. Do you see my mistake? Oh, five extra bonus points if you can fix Miss Falco's mistake. What am I missing? And the last thing I want you to discuss, what fact do you think is the most disgusting and would you have ranked them in the same order as the authors why or why not well what does rank mean rank means you're going to put them in order so the book ranked um the top 10 most disgusting facts they started with 10 and they went all the way down to number one so they put them in order from least disgusting to number one the most disgusting so not number 10 the least all the way down to number one, the most disgusting. So do you agree with their ranking? Why or why not? Well, hmm, 
I didn't really agree with their ranking. I think fact number two, mites living in your eyelashes is actually the most disgusting. So I would rank that as number one because I can't imagine something that's alive crawling around in my eyelashes. I think that is so gross. Can you imagine having those little mice, or I'm sorry, mites just crawling around on your eyelashes? Ugh, gives Miss Falco the heebie-jeebies. No, thank you. So I think that's number one. Most disgusting fact. So that was my reasoning. What's your reasoning? Do you think that the ranking the authors have is correct, why or why not? Or would you have ranked them in a different order? I'd love to hear your feedback. All right, boys and girls. So that's it for lesson 15 today. Okay, so we will, um, Friday is going to be review and catching up on our work. So if you don't get all of these things completed and turned in today, you have through, um, the end of the day Friday to get all of those assignments done. So again, we are looking at the chart with the words um, that begin with the prefix miss, which again, miss is, means bad or wrong. You're going to define those words, then you're gonna pick two and write them in a sentence. Then you're gonna finish reading the top 10 most disgusting facts about the human body. Then you're going to answer these two questions, discussion questions, and make sure you're talking to somebody about them. How are some human body traits similar to or different from others? And what facts do you think are the most disgusting? Okay, and would you rank them in the same order as the authors? Why or why not? We have quite a few things to do. Again, don't forget to have those turned in by the end of the day, Friday. You guys have a great rest of your week. Keep up the great work. You guys are almost to the white level. You can do it. So keep plugging away. Have a great day, everybody. And we'll see you next time.